Hello, today I am going to discuss about the Alan Bradley Rockwell Automation RS Logics 500 Jump to Subroutine Instructions. So let me create a new file. I will close the current file, then create a new file here. Then make sure the driver you select Emulate 500, then click OK. Alright, so let's see. I will create a new runs. So again, if you are not familiar how to navigate around and how to insert the instructions into the new runs, please refer to my previous videos. I'm not going to repeat how to do all these basic tasks in order to save the time. Okay, so I will insert all the necessary instructions here okay maybe you normally open so that it will be easier okay so this output should here right so i will go to program control and select this JSR jump to subroutine click and drag and let go right so what is a jump to subroutine instructions okay jump to subroutine what is subroutine subroutine is a is a program file okay this is a program file okay now we are program file 2 right so let's say let me name this file to uh with with uh, a file name so you can right click this file to and then rename here so let's say i will name it as main program maybe main program okay enter so i will create a new program files i just right click and click new and then this just now is a file to okay the next new file is file number three let me give you a name maybe i just say sub routine okay press click okay now this one is a file three okay so i need to give a subroutine file number here i double click i will type u then colon then three u stand for subroutine subroutine is a file is a program files like this one this file 2 main program and file 3 subroutine is the program files okay it's also what we call subroutine right so colon followed by the file number okay i want to jump to file 3 right we, so the number is 3 then enter okay let's say i write the address for all the instructions let's say this is digital input okay column slot 0 slash bit 0 okay maybe i name it as switch 0 this one i will name it as digital output column slot 0 slash bit 0 so this one is a lamp 0 okay so i will copy the address so just drag hold out control key and then let go okay do the same for the rest okay so for this one i will use bit 1 so the description I put switch 1 as for this one, as for this one, B2. So discretion switch to and then this one I will use big one for the digital output. So the discretion I put lamp one. And then this one I will use B2. So the discretion will be lamp two. Okay. So as for this one, I decide to use 
other data files such as binary so I write b3 column so word 0 word is consists of 16 bit from bit 0 bit 1 until bit 15 total got 16 bits so up to you which bit you want to use okay slash bit 0 I okay this one maybe I will write description or write activate jump to sub rotate okay so b is a binary is a, b is a file type which is a binary three is a file type number if you are not sure you can refer to here okay b3 binary is b3 so you write b3 all right okay so now i will double click this uh file number three that i created just now by double click it. okay so this one again i will create a few new runs click user okay so this one i will go to the program control tab and i will select the sub sub routine label okay this is my sub routine label then maybe i will put one output here All right and then maybe one input here okay and copy maybe copy here here okay All right this one i will use binary three column okay word zero bit one okay i okay don't need to put any comment here i will use two then i will use three so digital input column slot zero bit three switch three then this one is digital output okay slot zero then bit number three this one is a lamp three all right okay two, two. then i copy the, inst the instruction address to here then change this to bit 4 and then this question is switch 4 okay and then this one and you change to bit 4 then lamp 4 and as then i go back to the program control and I will select return maybe I don't need this one so okay maybe maybe for this one I will use this one okay so as for this virtual switch I decide to use this uh, address okay so this virtual switch is linked to this virtual output coil be because both share the same address okay so now if the program the plc will scan the program execute from run 0 to run 1 and so on so let's say we do not trigger this binary virtual switch so nothing will happen in this jump to subroutine instruction okay so when we trigger this switch and this switch from normally open to close by clicking the bit toggling both the uh, virtual output coil will be energized and it will result both external lamp to turn on 
okay so if i trigger this binary virtual switch from normally open to close by clicking the bit dog link the virtual power will be able to flow through this run and then we we'll energize this jump to subroutine instruction so what will happen is uh, let me maybe open a new window so you can open a new window by clicking any file that you want to, to create and uh, to open a new window so then you right click then you click new window okay you can rearrange all, all the windows by clicking the window click the arrange and click vertical and click ok okay so for me i will rearrange one more time all right by doing so it will be easier to see the both the programs easily okay so this is my main program this is my subroutine program this is this is a file number two program file two this is program file three all right so let's say if i trigger this binary virtual switch from normally open to close the virtual power will flow through this run to energize jump to subroutine instruction so what will happen is it will the program will then jump to the next program file which is here how does the plc know which program file to jump they will refer to this address u stand for subroutine meaning program which program this program which file number file number three okay so this is the subroutine file number three all right okay so how do we know is simple you can see here maybe i I put this one here it will be easier to see all right okay as you know this main program this main program is file number two and this subroutine program is under file number three so this when the this jump jump to subroutine instruction We'll jump the program from here, from this rung straight away to this rung at the new program file. How he will jump to okay program file number three. This one is program file number three. How we know you can see subroutine, subroutine. This is a program file number three. Okay, all right. Then it will start to execute as per normal from this rung onwards. Okay, so let me verify let me compile the file to make sure no error click verify file verify the project then no error then we save maybe we save on inside our computer hard disk okay give a name maybe i will name it jump to sub routine then click save all right and then click this down arrow key click download download to our virtual plc which is emulate 500 then click ok then click this one more time to select run okay so let's say if i toggle the bit here this out this virtual output coil will be energized task will then turn on the external lamp zero right okay this binary virtual switch i don't intend to, to 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 change the status now so i will not touch it see what happens so if i click this switch and then i toggle bit of course it will energize this virtual output coin and similarly for this all right so this is understandable okay let's say i normalize the switch okay now what will happen if I trigger this binary virtual switch from normally open to close? Let's see. Okay. See what will happen? It will jump to this subroutine label here at the new file, which is a file number three. This is file number three, right? It will start to execute here. Then it will energize the virtual power will energize this binary virtual binary coil and this 
will then trigger the relevant binary virtual switch from normally open to close. After that, it will return back to here and execute. Okay. Then you can try to toggle bit again. Then it will be able to toggle. Okay. So that's it. Thank you.